Gene editing is a revolutionary technology that enables scientists to manipulate the DNA of the genome. CRISPR-Cas9 refers to the components that allow scientists to edit the genome. The Shen muscular dystrophy is a prime example of the type of disorder that can eventually be corrected by gene editing. There are more than 4,000 different mutations in the dystrophin gene that cause Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And by correcting those mutations using CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing, the cause of the disease can be eliminated. Exons are short segments of DNA that code for portions of proteins. If there's an exon that has a mutation that blocks the production of the protein, we can use this technology to skip that exon and put the protein back to restore the production of the missing protein, in this case, dystrophin. The mutation responsible for the disease can be eliminated following that single, one-time delivery of the gene editing components. In that way, it's different from all other types of therapies which require lifelong treatment. We've optimized this technique in human cells derived from patients with DMD. So we are moving rapidly towards clinical translation of this technology. We believe we can correct up to 80% of the mutations identified in DMD boys worldwide using CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. It's extremely important to fund this research because the costs and the number of approaches that need to be taken to correct muscular dystrophy exceed the level of funding that can be obtained through an academic laboratory. So ultimately, it's going to be important to bring major resources to bear on this project to move it forward towards clinical translation. Toward that end, we've teamed up with Cure Duchenne Ventures to launch a new biotechnology company called Exonics Therapeutics. Exonics Therapeutics will rapidly extend the work from our laboratory towards clinical applications. This is one of the very rare cases in which the work has progressed faster and more efficiently than we would ever have expected. I have never been more optimistic about anything that I've worked on in my career. Our work to date has shown uh, extraordinary efficacy of correcting this mutation. This is really the moment in which we need to put all resources towards moving this forward towards clinical translation. And so we hope we can get strong support from the Duchenne community so as to impact the lives of the many patients and families who could benefit from this technology.